Hey everybody, this is a quick video in case you have a Bose SoundLink color and you're trying to set it up and use it. I'm going to quickly go through all the things you're going to want to do in order to use it. So first things first, we're just going to want to plug it in and charge it. And so when we, we're just going to come in with our USB um, mini micro USB here in the back and plug it in. And then you're going to see there's the light's going to come on on it over here. And when this is orange, this means that it's charging. And then once this once it's fully charged, this will turn green. And you can continue to use the speaker while it's charging. So if you need to change or select the language on your Bose SoundLink color, you can do this. Now, first of all, when you first turn it on, it will actually automatically prompt you to select the language. And you'll just use the plus and minuses to toggle through the options of the different languages it, is it has. And then once you've got the ones you want, it, one you want, you'll just hit the play button to select it. Now, if you want to change it, if it's already been set up and you want to change it, then all we need to do is with it on, we're just going to come in and press and hold the play and the plus button simultaneously simultaneously for a couple seconds until it will uh, prompt you to select a language. Once it does that, then you can just do the same thing you did before when you set it up, which is you just toggle the plus and minuses to toggle through the language options there are. And then when you've made your selection, you just hit the play button to select. So if you have a Bose SoundLink color and you're trying to pair it with your uh, any Bluetooth device you have, like an iPhone or an Android or a Samsung phone or anything like that, um, there's a couple different things. First of all, if you're turning this on for the first time, it will go into ready to pair mode automatically, which means when we turn it on, this will blink blue. Um, if you turn it on and it's not the first time, it's going to search for devices that it's been paired with in the past. And if it doesn't find anything, then it will go automatically into uh, pairing mode again and we can set it up or we can manually put it in pairing mode and it, you'll hear it say ready to pair. I'm going to turn it on and it's going it, to, if I just hit the power button, now it's blinking white which means it's looking for devices that it's been paired with in the past. If I let this go, it will automatically go into pairing mode because it's not going to find anything. But another thing I can do is if I just come in and press this button, I have to press and hold it for a couple seconds, the Bluetooth button. Another device not found. Ready to pair. Then when it says ready to pair, this starts to blink blue. Once this is blinking blue, then I can go on my device that I want to pair it with, and then I can select this, and then it will pair with this. Um, and then the next time I turn this on, it will when it when it's blinking white, it will automatically try to find like now I turned it off, I turn it back on. It's going to automatically try to pair with the device I had it paired with in the past. So you may need to reset the your Bose SoundLink color speaker or clear the pairing history, delete all of the Bluetooth pairing history off of this. You might want to do this for one of two reasons. The first one is troubleshooting. Uh, you know, if this device is not pairing with what you want it to pair with, or if it keeps disconnecting, or if it's stuck paired to something and, it, and you can't get it paired to what you want because it keeps pairing to something else that you don't know where it is and you don't know what's going on, just resetting and clearing everything can fix a lot of those issues. Um, you're going to need to pair it again and set it up like it's a brand new device. And that's kind of the second reason you might want to do this. If for whatever reason, you just want to get a fresh start and just pair this like it's a new device. And it's really easy to do. All we're going to do um, is with the device turned on, we're just going to come in and press and hold this Bluetooth button for 10 seconds until we hear it say Bluetooth device list cleared. So we're just going to go ahead. I'm going to get, go ahead and hold this and we're just going to listen. Ready for that. to pair. So we're just going to ignore that ready to pair. We're just going to keep holding. Because when you hold it for a couple seconds, it goes into ready Bluetooth to pair. device list cleared. There you go. Do you hear it? It, just said, to pair. it goes um, Bluetooth device list cleared. So now it's forgotten everything and it's gone straight back into pairing. And now you can set this up like it's a new device. So some of it is obvious, like pressing the plus will turn the volume up, down will turn the volume down when you're listening to music. But I'm just going to go over a couple of things you might not know about what you can do with these buttons. You can actually control your audio on this Bose SoundLink color. Um, you can skip forward and skip back as well as play and pause all with the pause button. So obviously, if, you want, if you're listening to audio, one press on the play pause is going to pause it. One press again is going to resume the, the, the audio. But if you double press it, it will skip forward a song. And if you triple press it, it will go back a song. And on this Bose SoundLink color Bluetooth speaker, you can also, it has voice prompts and you can turn those voice prompts on or off if you want them or if they've disappeared and you're trying to get them back or something like that. All we need to do is press and hold the volume up and down button together until we hear it say to us voice prompts off or voice prompts on. So I'll, I'll just go ahead and you'll listen. They're on right now. And so it's going to, I'm going to press it. It's going to say voice prompts off. Voice prompts off. So if you heard that and now I can turn them back on. Same way. Voice prompts on. 
Now on this Bose SoundLink Color, you can also ha has an auto off feature where it will automatically turn off after a certain period of time. And if you don't wanna do that, or if it's not on and you're trying to activate it, it's really easy. All we need to do is press and hold the aux and the volume up button for a few seconds, and then it will tell us that it's turning the auto off feature on or off. So we'll just listen here. Auto off setting is disabled. So now I've disabled the auto off setting. And if I do it again, Audio off setting is enabled. And it's back on. So it might, you might also come to a point with your Bose SoundLink Color Bluetooth speaker that you need to do a full factory reset on it. Now, you might want to do this for one of two reasons. The first thing is troubleshooting. Like if this is not responding or if it's not connecting to your Bluetooth device, not syncing, anything like that, you're having sound issues, um, a factory reset can uh, you know fix a lot of those issues you're going to need to set everything up again because everything will be wiped and that's kind of the second reason you might want to do this is um you know just like it's going to clear the language selections any kind of pairing memory anything like that will all be cleared off so we can go ahead and set it up like new so all we need to do if we want to do that we're just going to come and find the volume down in the aux button and we're just going to press and hold both of them for 10 seconds just keep holding, keep holding, keep holding. Make sure, that, and by the way, make sure that it's hooked up to power when you do this. So you see it was on, it's just been turned off. It made that little beep. So now it's been fully factory reset. So now when I turn it on, you'll see it'll go, it won't look for, it won't look to pair with something. It won't blink white. It'll just go straight into pairing mode. To select English, press and hold the play pause button. And see, now it's it's prompting me to select language and everything like that because select it's... English, press and hold the play pause button. So everything's being set up from brand new.